Hello, this is Renee and welcome back. Today we're going to do a collective reading. We're just going to go ahead and get right in it, see what's coming up. We're going to get some messages from your person first, so then we'll um, go into the tarot. Okay, so this is for the collective. Give me a message for love and romance. What the collective's person wants to say. Give me your messages, divine spirit. Okay. Why do I feel so lost? Okay, I feel like someone is really soul searching. Someone's really going through it. I feel like a lot of the signs have been kind of going through it this, this past couple weeks. I long for your kiss. Someone is missing you. Someone really feels very lost without you. Okay, someone feels like they just can't bear another second. That's what I'm feeling, right? I can't let go of you. Yeah, there may be some separation between you and this person, or there may be some distance, um, but I feel like someone really wants to keep a hold of you. You know, they feel like letting you go is like letting go of a part of themselves. I am better with my mind than my heart. So I, I feel like someone may kind of uh, need to work on their heart chakra is what I'm getting. Because I feel like they can say exactly how they feel, but they, they really can't express how they feel. You know, um, I feel like someone is really deep in their thoughts instead of being free with their heart right someone is not able to control the way they feel but they're like hmm they may be very emotional this person this person may be very emotional i feel like i'm getting a couple different messages right i feel like i'm channeling um more than one I need to hold back my true feelings for you. Yeah, there's someone who just doesn't want to express things. Look, I'm better with my mind than my heart. I need to hold back my true feelings for you. You know, um, I feel like they're like on reserve. Why is this person on reserve? Why do they feel like they need to hold back their feelings from, from you? Maybe they have a fear of rejection. I feel like this person may have a fear that you're going to reject them. You know, because I feel like there there may be a separation. There may be some distance between you and this person. Um, it could have been no contact for a while. But I feel like you, you're on the mind. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about you a lot. You know, they long for that experience to be with you again. Any more messages? Don't put up with my BS. Yeah. I feel like someone's a shit starter. <laughs> is that you? Or is that your person? But I feel like someone's a shit starter. Some, someone likes to get stuff going. Right? Um, but I feel like this person has kind of put you through it a little bit. Well, not a little bit. Someone has really put you through it. Right? And they, they, they know that you deserve better. What do you see in me? See, look at that. What do you see in me? Because I, I feel like this person knows that they put you through it. They know that you're about done with their bullshit. You know, so they're wondering what you see in them. This love is crazy. Okay, so there's definitely a lot of love here. There's definitely a lot of love. It, whether it's toxic, whether it's negative, you know, um, people deal with emotions in different ways. You know, people deal with trauma in different ways. A lot of times that trauma comes out in relationships for some reason even if it's like childhood trauma or generational trauma 
you know those those aspects seem to come out in relationships and some people have fears great big fears when it comes to relationships right i can't do this right now you know yeah i, I feel like this person is overwhelmed by your kindness your good heart your good um, values about you and they feel like they just don't meet up to your standards like they just don't live up to what may be your expectations right I can't talk to you right now okay so they're just not ready to communicate so maybe that's the reason why there's some communication that's lacking or there's some distance or no contact at the moment. This person is really trying to deal with a few things. They're trying to get their thoughts together. They're trying to get their um, perspective on where the situation can go. You know, I feel like this person is really trying to make themselves a better person. That's what I'm getting. The way I have treated you was wrong. Yeah, this person knows they were wrong. They know they have did some shit, right? They know they have put you through it. So they feel like, you know, they're trying to make themselves a better person to be with you. That's what I'm getting. They're, they're doing all the soul searching to be more like you. That, that That's the phrase I'm getting, to be more like you. It could be that you have a lot of patience. You are you have put up with a lot of bullshit, right? But you've taken it on in a totally different way than they would have. So they feel like you're such a good person. Like, you know, look, you deserve better. Definitely. That that That's exactly what I was just saying. They know that you deserve better. So they're trying very hard to become more of a person like you, okay? They're trying very hard, I feel that. I feel that they're trying very hard to work through the issues that they have. I feel like this is a good person. They just don't know how to express their emotions, you know? I, I feel like when it comes to emotional aspects, they're like caught off guard. I am stuck in visions of us together. Yeah, like I said, this person is thinking about you. They're thinking about you a lot. They're missing you. They're longing for your touch, your kiss, you know, to be together. I wish I could fully be honest with you. Yeah, that there's something that they want to tell you. Maybe something from their childhood, something from their past. But they they really want to be honest with you. But they're fearing the drama. They're fearing the drama. But there's something that they have to get off of their chest. Right? There's something that they have to say. Tell me, what is this? What do they have to say? I wish I could be a different person. Yeah. I, I feel like that's exactly what it is. And look, we have drama on the bottom again. This person might be in the middle of a lot of drama. They might have drama surrounding them a lot. Um, because I feel like this person may draw the drama to them. Even if they're not connected to it. Just by their negative... Um, aspects about themselves. I feel like this person um, may be very negative when it comes to um, dealing with certain things, right? Um, yeah, their, their life is a mess right now, you know? The, it's just not going right. It's not going how they expect it. And they're, they're like trying to express themselves, but I feel like in trying to express themselves, they're doing a piss poor job. They're not doing a good job expressing themselves, you know, and it's becoming too much. Very interesting. Okay, so let's take a look at the tarot. 
let's take a look at the tarot and see what's coming out. Okay, Spirit, give me a message for the collective. What is the collective need to know about the love and romance? What does the collective need to know about this connection? A message for the collective, please. What does the collective need to know about this connection? Message for the collective, what do they need to know about this connection, please? Tell me more about this person and their message. Okay, the Two of Cups. This person really, really loves you. They love you deeply, you know? Um, it could be that you've been together for a long time. This could be someone that... You know, you've had a relationship with for a long time and you've been like hoping for things to get better. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of confusion here. There could be an opportunity for a different choice. Right. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of things that are blocking this person from getting the relationship where it needs to be. This person is just being blocked from all the negativity that's surrounding the relationship. Give me a message for my collective. What does my collective need to know about this message? What does my collective need to know about this message? Okay. Yeah, you got your defenses up. You're blocking yourself, my beautiful collective. But I feel like you're standing your ground. You're holding firm, right? You're you're not backing down from the situation. And I feel like, you know, even though you're defensive right now, you're in this battle mode where you're just waiting for things to happen. When you're just waiting for something to fall. But this person is over here sitting here in love in confusion okay and you're like waiting for this other shoe to drop you're waiting for something to happen because you can kind of feel that it's coming you can feel that you know this person's confusion is only going to last for a while so I, I, I feel like this is something that you need to be aware of right because I feel like along with this confusion comes aggression this could be male or female, you know, don't get me wrong. This could be male or female. But once this confusion isn't sorted out, then we start to go into aggression, right? So that's something that you need to be beware of. Okay, what is the... What is the energy of this connection? What's the energy of this connection? Okay. The Queen of Cups. So I feel like in this connection, this connection can be worked out, but I feel like on both sides, you both are really caring about each other. You love each other. You have a lot of love for each other. But I feel like you're protecting your energy. You know, you're protecting yourself from something this person has done. And they're actually protecting themselves from you from being rejected. Because they feel like it's just a matter of time before you get tired of their bullshit and you just reject them. Right? But you have your defenses up, collective. Tell me more about this Two of Cups, Seven of Cups. Tell me more about this Two of Cups, Seven of Cups. Give me a message. Tell me more about this Two of Cups, Seven of Cups. Yeah, they're not ready to heal yet. They're, they're just not ready. They're, they're not in that. 
that there's something that happened, something that went on, that they're just, that I, I, I'm getting the feeling that they don't know how to heal. You know, there's this confusion again, you know, deep confusion, delusions, illusions, right? Um, but I feel like this person doesn't know how to heal. They may need help to heal, right? Give me a message. Okay. I definitely feel like this person is going through the motions where they're trying to get attention. You know, they may be trying to get attention from other people, from other, you know, uh, the opposite sex or, you know, wherever this goes. You know, if you're interested in the same sex, opposite sex, whatever. But this person is trying to get attention. They're trying to get attention from other places, you know, because they're not healed. They're not moving forward. You know, tell me more about this person. Give me a message. Why is the star and the six of wands here? Give me a message for the star and the six of wands. The Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah. And we have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom. So I feel like there's a lot of change. There's a lot of transformation that this person may be going through. You know, um, there's a lot of things that are going on with this person. I feel like they may be going through a dark shadow of the soul. Um... But this person is very discouraged. They're trying to get their faith back in this situation, right? They're trying to really feel something, you know? This discouraging feeling, I feel like that's the reason why they're looking for so much attention. Because they're looking for someone to validate them. They're looking for someone to say it's okay to feel this way. That it's okay that you're confused. That it's okay that, you know, you know, you don't have to be rejected. I won't reject you, right? Um, I feel like they're looking for validation. Like, they need someone's okay to move ahead. I, You know, with this Five of Swords in reverse, they really want to reconcile. They they do want to fix the situation. They they want to be forgiven. You know, that's what I'm getting. They want to be forgiven um, for something that they've done, something that they hurt you with. But, and I feel like, you know, there's a lot of changes happening right now. There's a lot going on. Um, so, but they feel like, they feel like after everything is all said and done, that you'll be able to come back together. You'll be reunited. Okay? That's what I'm getting. But they're, they're not rushing into it. They're like, I feel like they're like giving you the time that you need. Giving you your space. Maybe that's the reason why there's no contact or no, you know, um some distance okay give me a message for this nine of wands seven of wands give me a message for this nine of wands seven of wands what does the collective need to know okay we have the knight of cups and the seven of swords yeah so i definitely feel like you know they may be coming in with an apology they may be coming in to ask for your forgiveness. This may also be an offer of love, you know, some kind of proposal coming in that may catch you very off guard. But with all the things you're working through, I mean, this proposal is very surprising. But it's a proposal nonetheless. There's an offer here. Okay. If it's not an offer, it is an apology. 
Uh, but for some of you, this is an offer. Okay, we also have the Seven of Swords. So I feel like, you know, the Seven of Swords, this is lying, cheating, stealing. So I feel like, you know, if this offer is coming in, I'm not sure if you're going to really see it for its face value. I feel like, you know, you feel kind of deceived, you know, you feel like someone's playing a trick on you. But I feel like, you know, if this person is being sneaky or if you're being sneaky, okay, um, if this person is being sneaky or conniving, I feel like they're being very strategic with it. You know, they're making their plans. Um, but there, there is, yeah, Seven of Swords, lying, cheating, stealing, someone, you know, um, being very strategic. So, yeah, you do need to be aware of that, okay? Um, let's see. Tell me more about this connection. Why is the Knight of Cups, Seven of Swords here? Give me a message. Why is the Knight of Cups, Seven of Swords? Why is the Knight of Cups, Seven of Swords here? <clears throat> yeah. Someone's feeling very unfulfilled, and I don't know, and I picked up this deck by, by mistake, but I'm going to go with it because, yeah, that's what I've got. Yeah, you're, you're holding yourself back. You're not accepting this offer. You kind of see this offer for what it is. You see this offer for being dishonest, for not being um, the genuine offer that it should be. So I feel like if this is an apology, you're kind of not very quick to accept it. If it's a proposal or an offer to of love, I feel like you're like second guessing it. You're like seeing where this is coming from. You know, I feel like your focus is elsewhere, you know. Uh, but I feel like you're, you're really blocking your energy at the moment. Even though you're in this um, Queen, of, Queen of Wands energy. I feel like, you know, you're working on yourself. You're you're not worried about what this other person is doing. You're like, I'm doing me. I'm doing me and I'm doing it well, right? Um, you may be spending a lot of time alone. Uh, there, there may be changes that you're going through. Here we have the Four of Cups again. So I feel like there's a lot of thinking going on. There's a lot going on for you. But you're trying to get control, collective. You're trying to get this control. You're trying to gain the balance. See, because we have the Six of Pentacles here. I feel like with the Six of Pentacles energy, I feel like you were the giver in this situation. And you gave so much of yourself. That you just don't have anything else to give. And I feel like this person was a taker. This person took and did not give you what you needed. You know, I feel like this person gave you the bare minimum. And I feel like that brought on a lot of bitterness. Um, maybe a lot of cruel words. Maybe a lot of nagging and arguing, right? But and I feel like, yeah, I feel like you're trying to get control of the situation. You're trying to gain a better perspective, you know. You're waiting for things to be revealed before you can push forward. We have a lot of reversals in this deck. So I really feel like there's a lot going on. Tell me about this Queen of Cups energy. Tell me where this is going. Tell me where this connection is going with this Queen of Cups energy. Will this love be revived? Will this love be revived? Yes. 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 This love will be revived. You will have a new beginning. You know, things will become balanced. Things will begin to shift. But I feel like that's after these changes. 
that's after this change that comes forward you know after this cycle so and I feel like there is good news you know um, there's good news coming because I, I feel like once this king of wands here and that's your person once this king of wands energy kind of gets out of their ego gets out of their head they're able to shift their energy much more easier and they're able to really um, put a new perspective on things but there's healing that needs to go on here there's healing that needs to go on okay um, but I feel like it, it, it will work out you will be fine whether it's with this person or with someone else but you're going to have a new beginning you know, you're going to be okay in your situation. You're going to have success. Okay. So let's go ahead. We're going to get a few more messages. And then we are going to close with an angel number. If you watch any of my readings, you know that's just my thing. I close with an angel number. Okay. So let's get some more messages for the collective. What does the collective need to know about love, relationship, or life, life in general? What does the collective need to know? Give me a message for the collective. Okay. So we have... Yeah, I feel like this person has a very big ego. Their ego is getting in the way of everything. Sorry, not sorry, you know? And we have... You're so close to a win here, okay? The outcome is going to be positive. So you're going to be okay, you know? I'm trying to process my fears so, we can, so I can come back to you, you know? This person is dealing with a lot of different emotions. We have open your heart, okay? And we have... You'll get the money that you need very soon. Okay, so there's money coming in. We That could be this Ace of Pentacles energy as well. Okay, we have healing to create the perfect time to reunite. Okay, so yeah, and I feel like that's exactly what needs to ha happen with this person. And we have you already know the answer. Okay, so if you have a question, you already know the answer. We have be aware. And I'm going to take one more. Okay. I'm tired of being apart. Okay. So, at the bottom we have step into a higher vibration. Good things are happening. Okay. So, yeah, that's what I have for you. So, we're going to go ahead and... Um, how about we get a timeline for this situation? And then we'll get an angel number. So we'll get a timeline and then an angel number. Okay. So, Spirit, give me a message for the collective. When will this situation be resolved? When will the collective see a resolution? Oh, okay. We have within the next three weeks. Okay. And we have, you have to remain consistently positive once that happens within two months. Okay. So, and I feel like if you're soul searching, if you're like giving this some distance, you and this person are going to come back together. For some of you, it's going to be within the next three weeks. For the rest of you, you need to remain positive in this situation. You need to raise your vibration so that positive things can happen. And once that happens within two months. Okay, so let's go ahead and get your angel number. We have for the collective. 1414, possibilities. Building strong foundations creates stability and welcomes in possibilities. All possibilities exist. And are amplified when gratitude is felt for the foundations that are in place. Right? Your affirmation. I am grateful for all that is and all that will be. I trust in the possibilities of what I desire 
or something greater. Okay, so that is your affirmation collective. Okay, I really hope this reading helps you. If this reading helps, please like and subscribe. If um, if it if it's not resonating with you, feel free to come back for another reading. Or you can take a look at your sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign for more messages that may be resonating with you more. Okay, and my lovely collective, if you're enjoying these readings, please um, comment below. I love to hear your comments. And until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.